There you guys see it. I have just completed this. I will be wearing my earplugs and showing you the sparks today. Now, if you don't want to watch the sparks, you can tune out. But if you want to share some love, then send some hearts. I'm going to set this camera up pretty far away from the sparks in the safest place that I can so you guys can see me working. Earplugs to protect my ears. I suggest you put the earplugs in your ears. This is a very small compressor. I have the full workbench here set up and everything's compressed and tight. This is not going anywhere. That is tight. I just custom built this. My garage is a mess. Now, uh, like I said, it's gonna get noisy. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set this up uh, probably somewhere over here. So you guys can see me working. Uh, pretty close to the sparks, but not like, you know, to the point where it's obnoxiously going to be uh, too much. So, setting that down. That's good to go. All right. Protecting my ears. <laughs> this is going to be one for the books, for sure. Now, I won't be able to hear anything. You guys and everybody else around me is going to hear a lot. Um, <coughs> <Woo. coughs> All right, uh, where was I? Right, uh, Uh, one more, one more thing. <coughs> one more thing. Actually, I should be good. Uh, yeah, we're going to wing it. We're going to really wing this. I was going to think about putting some aluminum over the top, but we're going to give this a full-blown shot. Here we go, guys. like my fastener safety is a little shifty i'm gonna take a tool and tighten that if you guys didn't get earplugs in you might want to put them in i'll be right back hold on let me see here uh let me see what do we got in here we got nothing but drill bits Here's all the tools you need when you need them. They're not around. Uh, let me see here. Oh, shoot. Let me see. We got something I can use. Uh, da, 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 da. There is something flat and sturdy. Well, those shouldn't be down on the ground. That's not good. All right, I got something to tighten it. Let's see here.
Never mind. Why well, things just don't always go smoothly. Try this one out. That might help a little. Yeah, what the heck. Extra glass eyewear protection doesn't hurt. Okay, here we go. Gloves back. No one around me. All clear. Going in again. penetrated even deep enough to split it we have to go a little harder bear with me <laughs> cut we can try a smaller blade but can't guarantee much success all right all right we did split it open smaller blade is just a test run we're gonna give it a try uh don't have much guarantee be a lot less kickback but there will not be as efficient of a cut. All right, here we go. Now this one doesn't have a safety switch. So all you gotta do is pull this and it operates.
through just about, I'd say about five inches. <laughs> it's about a five inch cut. It's a very small compressor, but I think we're going to speed it up, go back to the big one. Even though this one is doing a pretty good job. I'm going to switch it back. So once we're done with this, there'll be no more compressor madness. All right, here we go. Exactly why we use the smaller one, but whatever the case, we're going all the way around. <laughs> That's cool. Saw. Kick back on a small motor isn't really worth the cut detail, but much, much safer cutting with the principle of not having to worry about such a long duration.
guess we're back to the big one. And I think it's time I just stick with it, even if it takes a little bit more time at the kickback. I think you guys see I can cut, but I'm not really getting the best efficiency on the cut. So, here we go. This stand is, is definitely sturdy. It just has a wobble, slight wobble. We've got it cut about here and about here. And it's probably because of the height making it harder. All right. Almost to the I did make the table a bit high, but it looks more dangerous than it is. Uh, might actually help me to stand and sit 
upon this. It may not seem practical, but it actually be a lot smarter. <laughs> now that I think about it, yeah, let's do that. Crazy, much better like this. There we go. Now that it's tightened, it's a lot smoother. Now I just gotta get it from this side and reconnect this side. So we're gonna go in from that side around.
RS4, nothing bad. So we cut through here. We almost connected through here and we just got a little bit more to go here. It's a pattern of getting readjusted basically. That's why I've taken a long time to get through such a small compressor with such a big blade. And remember this blade is a little bit shorter than the new one. Once this one gets too low, that's when we'll take it to the next step. In fact, uh, this one's not too much longer before it's open. And we don't mess with it once it's hot and it's fresh. We just wait till after. Because it's too hot to mess with it. Quite there yet we got a very tiny thin section here to finish all right so ah. Ooh, a lot of smoke <laughs> all right uh, yep we're gonna cut from this side across because it's still hot so let's build the connection got just a tiny little bit left between this piece here and we're done Okay, <laughs> now that is very hot, very, very hot. That's why we got the gloves. And I'll show you guys, yeah, it's a little awkward cutting from a from an angle like this, but my bigger motors, I'm not gonna record because they're way too thick to record that. 
So, taking out my, that was about 32 minutes. Oh, a little rusty. Okay, so you guys can see what's inside. It's a pure copper motor in there. Lots of good stuff. We'll worry about touching that. We get done later. That's the tidbit for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to sign off with that. And thank you again.